receiving. For a small fee, Personal Service Center will receive packages on behalf of local residents. The postmaster has approved the service. Questions call 789-6683. Personal Service Center, 789-6683. Want to learn more about your furnace or air conditioner? Tune in this Saturday for free tips and expert advice on how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Saturday, free tips and expert advice how to get the most out of your heating and air conditioning system. Or get a free AC rejuvenation by being the first person to go to cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Nice looking Monday morning. You know, in in light of the news of uh, of, of attacks and and tragedies, whether they are man-made or or naturally occurring tragedies, the one thing I think that we all have in common is that we just want to make the best lives for ourselves and for our children, and for, and for the world at large. Uh, I think most of us have the, that goodwill in mind. Uh, and you know, there are probably a less than a percent of people on this planet that really don't want that. Um, yes. Our next guest, I, I love the fact that she is a designer and she's written a book about designing our lives. I just love that. It, it just says something about her personality. Uh, she is on the phone right now. She is, I hope I'm saying her name right, is Shay Bursal. She has been designing award-winning products for over 20 years. She's the co-founder of Bursal and Sec. Plus, plus Seek. Oh, Plus Seek. She's an innovative design studio in New York that partners with leading brands and Fortune 500 companies. Her work is in the permanent collections of the Museum of Modern Art. That's the best part. <laughs> you like that part? Of her bio. Yes, I love that. Uh, and Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum as well. Design the Life You Love, a step-by-step -step guide to building a meaningful future is the title of the book. Ishe Bursell. Good morning, Ishe. Good morning, let me. Mary Robin. How did I do with your name? Please correct me if I'm wrong. You actually did quite well, uh, but it's Aisha. Oh, Aisha. Like I, yeah, it's like eyeshadow. Oh, okay, like eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Aisha. Well, well, where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York City. All right, one of the cities I love. How How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, and I love the way you started the program about. Uh, you know, in the face of all the tragedy and sadness that we had this weekend, um, I was just saying to my husband this morning, um, we still need to continue to design our lives with um, optimism. Yeah, yeah, we, we really do. I, if, if you don't mind me just taking a little bit of a tangent on that note, in, in uh, I, I wasn't alive at the beginning of World War II, but back in those days, people said, we, we can't plan for the future because there is no future. But there were there always has been a future, so you have to do the best you can, right? Yes, and I think, you know, when I started um, thinking about my life is my biggest project in, um, you know, this whole idea of designing my life, um, I thought, you know, often life comes at us and we let things happen, but w what would happen if we took a moment to think about our life from our perspective? Uh, since we're the users of our own life yeah. and um, take some time to think about, you know, what would what do we want out of our lives? And, and that, that was the beginning. And and people have to have the uh, courage to do that also because you've got so many people that speak against things. They think they know better than you for your own life. <laughs> right. Yes, and... Um, I actually that's the beginning of the book I tell people if you're you know writing in this book you're courageous because um, design takes courage you're thinking about the future um, based on what you know today and that's always risky and when it comes to your life it takes even more courage um, to kind of d design and think about um, you know your goals your purpose yeah. And I think um, design gives us a great tool because design is playful. 
you know, it's very um, open to possibilities, and sometimes the best ideas come from the worst places. Um, so, you oh, know, why I love not that. Do, why not do it playfully, like a child, you know? So let me, no let, me, judgment. let me tell you about a camping trip I took when my son was about 14. Um, we went from Florida to the Grand Canyon. And I planned the whole thing, I say. I planned the whole (laughs) thing out. But you want to (laughs) know, some of the most fond memories are the things that we didn't plan. Uh, In in fact, some of the things that you might have looked upon as, uh, not tragedies, but like uh, unfortunate circumstances, like the night we were in a tent and it was a downpour, and we got we couldn't have been any wetter. If we had jumped in the ocean, we wouldn't have been any drier. (laughs) So... (laughs) But but it's funny that we didn't plan that, but it mm-hmm. happened in in part of our plan. As you know what I mean, we never planned it. But the the plan was to get from here to there and, and see the Grand Canyon. We had no idea all the fun, memorable stuff that would happen that we didn't plan. Exactly, and I think you just said something that triggered this thought. That um, again, in design thinking, um, the whole point is using constraints and turning them into opportunities. It sounds like you took that rainy day or evening and turned it into a great memory yeah. and that's really what um, what it's all about because we all have constraints and we all have challenges you know they're not going away um, how can we make the best of them to, to, to look at your other work as a designer real quickly does it apply to that too like have you ever been designing something and maybe the paint splashed or, or the scissors slipped or, or, or something happened and you say oh I kind of like that did, has, that, has that ever happened? Oh, that um, always happens. And, you know, design is my um, lens onto the world. So I, when I'm designing products, um, you know, I look at the world through the lens of that um, project or product. And that sort of thing always happens because you're, um, you know, one good example is um, I designed a toilet seat. And um, and the inspiration for that came, um, I was walking, I was in Japan, designing it uh, for Toto in Japan. I was walking on the street and um, there were these um, Japanese plywood seats that had no legs that were to sit on tatam- tatami mats, like um, cross-legged on tatami So imagine, okay. it, was like a, um, it had a back and a base. Um, and that was that was it. And I thought to myself, oh, this is interesting. Could that be, you know, a toilet seat? <laughs> Could the wow. to- toilet seat be like a chair, except it has a hole in it? And that was the beginning of this um, idea that a toilet seat um, needs to be comfortable, like a chair. Um, and so that uh, that that was a kind of a funky idea but it led to what's known today as one of the most comfortable toilet seats in the world that is wonderful <laughs> you know, uh, that is wonderful John Lennon is often uh, associated I, th- I don't know if he's responsible for this quote or if he used it uh, life is the things that happen while you're busy making other plans I'm mm-hmm. sure we all know that, that quote <laughs> And and and, and it's okay. it is true, right? It, whatever we're planning, it's it's something else that mm-hmm. that that makes up our lives. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you have to go with your feelings for something, and not the uh, regimentation of life. Uh, how do you how do you balance those two? Because you can't get rid of one and ha- and just be encompassed by the other. Yes. So. Um, what I talk about in my book, Design the Life You Love, is about um, this four-step process. Actually, this is our design process um, that we design products and services with. And it starts with um, deconstruction. And deconstruction is taking your life apart and looking at what it's made up of. And because design is about thinking holistically, seeing the big picture, I ask people, think about your life and think about it across four quadrants. So like you said, what's the emotion of it? What's the intellect of it? What's the physical qualities of it? And then what's the spirit of it? And if you can do that, you start to see your life um, holistically. And you can see, oh, I have maybe a lot of emotion, um, but what about spirit? In, um, in, so that you could start to balance your life. And yeah, yeah. See w- what's, what's missing, maybe you have a lot of something else. Um, 
And one, if I may, one of my favorite examples um, in the book comes from um, Lee Eiley, who's a graphic designer in New York. He's amazing. And he came to one of my workshops, and he, in his deconstruction map, he realized that freedom is at the center of his life. And he talks about, I feel free emotionally. I'm physically free. I'm a free thinker, and I'm a, I'm a free spirit. How beautiful is that? That is wow. wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Aisha Bursell is on the phone. We'll take a little break and be right back. The book, Design the Life You Love. I want to find out more, and we'll do that on the other side. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Say boating is no accident. Intervals of clouds and sun today with a shower in spots along the coast, the high 81 to 85. And tonight will turn out mainly clear with lows ranging from the mid-60s inland to about 73 along the coast. Tomorrow, times of clouds and sun, just a chance of a shower along the coast, high 82 to 86. On Wednesday, times of clouds and sun with a shower or two around, high 84 to 88. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has three CD specials, 12 months for 1.05% APR, 24 months 1.50% APR, and 36 months 1.75% APR, each with a $10,000 minimum. APY, federally insured by the NCUA, APY equals annual percentage yield. These rates effective through November 30th, subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or their website at flcu.org. Cookies, 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 cookies. We when you cookies. want something special and fun for any occasion, get cookies. That's right. The Great American Cookie Company in the Paddock Mall Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. You might notice that I said fun and delicious more than once. That's because I can't say it enough. The next time you're at the mall, be sure and stop by or call 352-237-2557 to place your order. Cookies, cookies, Yum. cookies, cookies. We go cookie-eating cookies. The Great American Cookie Company. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. All right, 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. You know, one of the things I was thinking about during the break, uh, Aisha, I, by the way, our guest is Aisha Brussel. Her book is called Design the Life You Love. And Robin just brought it in. I, I didn't even know the book was here. So I guess yep. we, we have it now, um, And which is very, I like the design of the book. It feels cool. And, and it's I'm fl- wonderful. I'm flipping through it for the first time, Aisha. But uh, I was thinking during the break. Thank you. I was thinking, uh, thinking during the break that... Um, I mean, we've all seen houses that have been lived in, or, or apartments, maybe better, that have been lived in by more than one person. And it's in- interesting how the person's personality makes a room or an apartment or a house have a different spirit that you can sort of pick up on. It's, it's kind of even hard to explain what that is. And uh, I mean, some of us, some of them are neater than others. Some are more into color than others. Some are more into furniture, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But it, it kind of speaks to the, the to the tangible planning. The, the tangible designing as in addition to the non-tangible stuff. Absolutely. And, you know, when you talk about someone's home, you make me think about, you know, how their, their home is unique to them. The whole idea of design the life you love is to create an original life for yourself and that our values are the foundation of our life design. 
they sustain our design going forward. And so one of the things that um, I talk about in the book, there's a little exercise that I really like. It's about who's your hero? Because um, if you can name your heroes, people who inspire you, who interest you, um, you can also start naming your values. And um, there's one example um, in the book about Honey Hong, who came to one of my workshops and then told us that her mother is her hero. And she said, my mom left Vietnam with her five children, all under five, without my dad, and she was very courageous. And her secret is unconditional love. And so that, that's the value that Honey talks about in designing her life. Um, and I, I just love that. Uh, monetary worth seems to always play an important role, though, because people have to usually have a roof over their heads. They have to have uh, um, electricity. They have to provide clothing for themselves and their family. Uh, how can you have a good balance with that and plan ahead for that so you can have a uh, life that you're comfortable with? That's a great question. You know what's interesting? I always marvel at so many co people come to the workshops. I do workshops around the um, design the life you love, um, telling me, oh, you know, I'm worried about financial security or money. And then when they deconstruct and reconstruct, reconstruct their life, money doesn't figure into their life design. And I think I've always found this interesting, and when people deconstruct their lives, I ask them, have you put money in there? And 95% of the time, it doesn't figure into their life design. And my uh, personal theory about it is that money definitely is a necessity, but it's not a goal, it's a means. So it's, um, it doesn't figure in, in the life design. Not at all, huh? Hmm. So, wow. I, I mean, I, I guess if you have enough, it doesn't. <laughs> but, I mean, if you designed, if, if, you, if, you, if you took out a piece of paper and you said, okay, here's my life, I'm going to travel a lot, but you don't have the money, you won't be traveling very much unless you're reading books and pretending to travel. Absolutely. I think that, um, again, people see money as a means, um, but everybody talks about their work, everybody talks about their family and safety and, um, you know, honesty, trust. Um, um, but it's, I guess the, um, the money part doesn't come into it as, um, but what you, what the experience it helps create definitely is part of it. So one of my f favorite examples of, um, um, you know, how people design their lives, often um, I'll have people talk about, adventure being part of their life, um, but that there's always a little security net and a little safety net. Like you said, um, you know, I think we earn money to, to allow ourselves these little um, adventures, experiences, time with our family, but there also needs to be a little safety net so that um, if some of the adventures don't work out, we can still, um, you know, have something to fall back on. Uh, usually when an author sends a book, and I just got your book just a moment ago, um, there's usually a, a picture yes. of the author in the book, and there is one of you, but it is the, it yes. is, it is the simplest line <laughs> <It's> drawing. drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know what you look like, but I do, because the other line drawings look like the famous people, Shakespeare, uh, Dalai Lama, they're, they're all in here, mm -hmm. so, so that must be how you look. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you. It's a... Uh, you know, the whole book, as you can see now, um, Larry, you can leave through it, but it's like a sketchbook. Um, it's very illustrative um, with lots of sketches um, because it is a design book, and um, I express, being a designer, I express my thinking through drawing. So I first drew the book and wrote about it. And, you know, what I've discovered through the process is that ordinary people people who are non-designers um, are extraordinarily creative and they can draw and write 
and imagine their life. And this book is kind of their sketchbook to be able to um, draw, write, and imagine their lives um, across across the four steps. Yes. If if I was 18 and I wanted to design a life I would love, I might, with 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 good um, expectations for my lifespan. I might figure I'm going to live to 90, so I have this big, gigantic canvas to, to design on. What if, I knew I had, yes. what if I knew I had only six months? I could still design my six months, couldn't I? I could mm-hmm. still design that. Yes. The, um, the idea of designing your life is at the end of, you know, once you go through deconstruction and then you think about your values through your heroes, the other side of deconstruction is reconstruction, and that's all about making choices, knowing that we can't have everything. And that's about, um, you get three circles in there, um, and to symbolize that you have few choices, so what would you choose? And this could be um, for one day, it could be for six weeks, it could be for six months, it could be for six years. Um, but it's really trying to understand what are the few choices that where I want to spend my time and energy and invest um, in making those things happen? But you do not just advocate uh, aloneness. You advocate the idea of being a, a collaborative. A- absolutely. I'm so glad you mentioned that because one of the interesting things about designing your life is the user here, the user of your life, is you. And so initially you think about what do I want out of my life? But once you have an idea for yourself, you bring in other people to collaborate with you. Um, You share your idea, your design for your your life with them. And these could be um, your partner, your children, your parents, um, but you enlist them in helping you develop and prototype the, the life you love. So definitely. I mean, design is collaborative, and um, other people bring their inspiration. But first, you need to know what you want so that you can bring all other people along. So if, if life is a work in progress, um, do, we design yeah. it, do we design it one time and then, and then work and then run with that, or do we redesign it every day or, or every now and then? Um, you know, we're coming to the end of the year. I think um, instead of making New Year resolutions, you might want to design your life for 2016 and then relook at it again at the end of the year. Um, a year is a good time to think about, um, but you could do it, um, you know, every six months. Um, I One of my um, favorite redesign uh, moments was uh, when I was trying to finish my book. Um, it was Christmas break. I had three weeks uh, where my kids were going to be on vacation, and I made myself a little um, reconstruction map with three circles, and I said, um, in these three weeks, I'm going to try and finish my book. I'm going to spend time with my kids, family, and then I'm going to eat good food. <laughs> and that wow. gave me su- such a good sense of like, it was three weeks, but I finished my book and I did what I set out to do. And it was really helpful to simplify that period of time. So that, that really is um, what the idea is, um, to help you understand and build coherence between who you are and what you want out of your life um, and trying to bring those um, you know, to fruition. Sometimes the best designs are the simple designs, right? Yes. Sometimes. Yes, and you know, you, you mentioned, uh, Larry, if, if I were 18, um, I wanted to tell you that my favorite audience is young people who have their whole life in front of them. Oh, yeah. And to be able to tell them, you know, today things have, are changing so quickly. I feel like there are no roadmaps, uh, no kind of clear rules as to how, how to have a good life, which is an incredible challenge, but it's also a wonderful opportunity that um, you can design your own life and make your own rules. Very, very optimistic. I love that, Aisha. Uh, the book is here. So call me if you want the copy that was sent to us. I'll be glad to give it to you. Uh, the rest of us have to go buy it. It's called Design the Life You Love. Aisha Burstel spells her first name, by the way, A-Y-S-E. 
Her last name, B-I-R-S-E-L, if you're looking her up. So do you have a website? Yes, and it's my first name and last name, so com. Okay, that makes it easy. And I'm guessing it's on uh, Amazon and the other booksellers? Absolutely, or your local bookstore. Most bookstores carry it now. Design the life you love. Yeah, you're right. We're coming to the end of the year, so we want to design this next year. I love that. It's, it's always so optimistic when you think you have a whole empty palette, an, an empty canvas. <laughs> and, and the, yeah. That's what you say, empty canvas. Uh, I say thank Absolutely. That was fun. Thank you so much for being on the air with us today. Thank you. It's been my privilege. And ours. We'll, we'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Paul Stevens. A Belgian, Abdel Hamid Abaoud, pegged as the mastermind of the Paris terror attacks and a train attack stopped by three Americans in August. Parisians trying to move on. I'm really, really scared. But I'm going to work anyways because uh, this is... And I'm, yeah, I'm going to have drinks with my friends after that. And um, yeah, just, we're just pretending right now that we're going to keep on doing this because that's how we live so it's not going to change. French police raiding numerous locations overnight. ISIS topic one at the G20 summit. The president met with both King Salman of Saudi Arabia and Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss the threat of the Islamic insurgents. President Obama and King Salman agreed.